Very cheerful atmosphere. You notice the difference between a cash game and a tournament. Mercier. Well, he's had some strong hands. This is also a good one. He's got the kangaroos, and we're better to have them than Melbourne, Australia. 8,000. Kate's re-raising with King Queen on the button. Uh, Richard Young, maybe he'll be able to fold. I don't know. Nope. What do you know? 9-5. Perhaps his travel agent told him something he, li he liked hearing. Yes, we've got the president's suite for you. Mercier may even raise the price here and now. Raised. Kings don't like too much company. He makes it 23,000. 23 total. Plus up. Another 15,000. Cool. And it is Richard Yong with a 9 5 in spades who decides to take on the. Young American. Up here. That ace will be ugly to Mercier. There's already plenty in the middle. Two spades there for Richard Young now. Fifty-three thousand. Fifty-three thousand. We've seen him fold aces to trick it. Would he fold kings to young? Both times he's actually been in front. But the pressure of playing for six figure sums can do strange things to a man. Nothing at all for Richard Young except the knowledge that he's one of the richest men in the Far East. He can use his money like a cudgel. 86,000. Real money. He's losing to any ace. Huge decision here for Mercier. We can see that he's way in front. He can only see that it's going to cost him a good year's salary for most people. $86,000. The chips are in his hand and he makes the call. And he is going to be a very happy bunny. Because Richard Young only really had a nine. This is why the top players like going to compete against the Chinese tycoons.